and Jana and Shankar Das are familiar with changing weather patterns. They live on the southern coast of Bangladesh, an area that scientists say is among the most climate change affected places in the world. The weather has been really destructive. When a cyclone hit, tidal waves came onto our land and swept us into the water. Tidal wave flooding and salt water poisoned the soil and destroyed their harvests. And Jana says for many years they grew barely enough food to survive. But then a government development project with some support from IFAD, a UN agency working with local farmers, began helping communities adapt to climate change. They came and planted trees. They built embankments and stopped the saline water coming onto our land. They introduced us to salt-tolerant seeds and gave us training on how to grow them. So now the harvests are good. And life, too, is safer. And Jana and some of her neighbors walk to a nearby cyclone shelter. When disaster strikes, this place saves lives. On regular days, it's a school. We never thought we would stand on our own two feet again. With God's blessing and His will, you have seen what we have now. So far, the government project has assisted about one million coastal dwellers. But more needs to be done. Estimates show as many as 40 million people living along the coast of Bangladesh could be displaced because of climate change. <laughs>